Great. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks for coming and my uh, session. So this session is a uh, friendly project intro. So I will talk about the uh, friendly basis for the uh, friendly new users. And we friendly project as a one more slot of the, uh, this Kubecon EU. So the, uh, tomorrow, yeah, Eduardo will talk about the uh, deep level session. And deep level session will talk about the uh, friend bit. So if you are interested in the uh, friend bit project, uh, please uh, join to the uh, tomorrow's session. Okay. Uh, in this session, uh, I the basis, so I talk about the uh, friendly overview and the architecture and the use case and the containers integration. The first, I talk about the friendly overview. Okay. Uh, friendly, uh, friendly is uh, designed for the uh, streaming data collection. Yeah, this means that friendly is, uh, continues to read or receive data from the, from the data sources and send the data to the any destination in the streaming manner, so unlike batch models or like uh, transfer uh, with the uh, SCP. So, and the friendly is uh, consists of the core and the plugin parts. And the friendly core provides uh, uh, important features for the data collection. And the friendly plugins uh, cover the actual systems, so call API or write data to the databases. And Friendly is uh, written in Ruby and C, so the uh, performance intensive parts is written in C, C for the data, data serialization or uh, network handling. And Friendly's uh, core or the uh, plugins are uh, written in Ruby, and we use the uh, Ruby Gems for the Ruby uh, plugin distribution. Uh, Ruby Gems is a standard library platform for Ruby, so we can use the whole Ruby's ecosystem for developing the uh, Friendly plugins. And this is uh, and, uh, for the de friendly de uh, deployments. Uh, friendly project uh, provides a several approach for the installations, uh, friendly installation. So one is uh, OS, uh, using the OS package manager like the uh, YAM and uh, apt. So friendly project provides the uh, uh, dev packages for the Ubuntu and Debian, and the RPM package for the Red Hat and the OSs. <laughs> And the Friendly project also provides the MSI packages for Friendly, so you can easy to install the Friendly and the Ruby on the Windows server. So you can run Friendly on the Linux and the Windows servers together. Um, this is uh, one example of the uh, streaming data collections. Uh, this model is uh, using the uh, Friendly's Intel plugin and, and the Send to uh, destinations with uh, several output uh, plugins. So, for example, MongoDB plugin, device plugin. So, in this model, Friendly's Intel plugin monitors the local files. And when application writes the logs to the local files, uh, Friendly's Intel plugin and reads the data immediately and send to the uh, destination. In this model, is a log server. So this model uh, has a merit with a low latency to, in the uh, log server, so you can see the uh, live data quickly on your uh, data visualization tool or data databases. So streaming data collection is now important because uh, current data platform using the uh, real-time analysis and the <coughs> batch, uh, batch analysis and the combination, so you need to uh, get the data immediately when logs are, uh, log are generated. So Friendly fits the uh, recent data platform uh, architecture. And Friendly, I, I said the Friendly has a uh, plugin, so Friendly has a plugin architecture, so we can build the uh, unified logging layer with a Friendly. So Friendly becomes the glue in the, your data pipeline, so we can collect the, uh, any, de any data uh, you can, uh, you can put the data from the any data sources and send the data to the any destination with the plugins. So you, need, you don't need to write the any code for the your uh, destinations. And this is an uh, overview of the friendly list of the uh, plugin model and the, how to distribute into plugins. So next topic is our friendly architecture. So in this topic, I will show the how friendly works. 
So I said uh, Fentry consists of the uh, core parts and the plugin parts. And the, this, uh, this table shows the uh, details of the, uh, each, each paragraph. So Fentry's core covers the uh, common concerns of the data collection. So for example, Fentry's uh, core provides the buffering and the literal mechanism for the data collection. So your plugins don't need to uh, write the each buffering literal mechanism. So this, is, this simplifies uh, your plugin code. So for example, if out of the plugin uh, raises an error for the network error or something, uh, Fentry automatically literalizes the errors uh, until, the, until the succeeds. And Fentry Core provides uh, several helpers for the Fentry uh, plugin developers, for example, uh, launching the network server or timers or uh, creating parser or more. So you plugin developers uh, focuses on the core logic uh, of the plugins. So this is why Fentry has a lot of plugins, maybe near 10,000 uh, plugins in the wider community. So when the plugin developer focuses on the how to read the data from the API, API or how to write the data to the your databases or object storage. Um, this is uh, inside Friendly. So Friendly event. Uh, this is a, a structure of the Friendly one event. Friendly events uh, consist of the time and the tag of the record. Time is a nanosecond unit, and uh, this is comes from the uh, log uh, uh, generated the logs. And Friendly event has a tag for the event routing, and the, this tag is used for the identifying data sources. So you can know the, where this data comes from in the, uh, using this tag. And the very important point is our record. So friendly record is not the raw storing. So friendly is uh, converted into the raw storing into the JSON object and the uh, input plugin side. So this is because the JSON object is easy to mutate or easy to filter or easy to transform to the other format. And recently, so middlewares or web services can accept the JSON object natively, so Elasticsearch or AWS or GCP services. So this is why Friendly uses a JSON, a record, a JSON object for the event records. This is a uh, data pipeline of the uh, Fentry's, uh, in Fentry internal data pipelines. And Fentry's uh, data pipeline is consists of the uh, plugins, and the start is the input, and the filter, and the buffer, and the output. So incoming data is a pass through from the uh, left to right. So input plugin generates the event, uh, Fentry events, and uh, you can apply the filter, and the data uh, start into buffer, and the flash data to the output. I will talk about uh, each component. The input plugin, so input plugin is a start point of the uh, Fentry data pipeline. So input plugin receives the data or uh, read the data from the data sources, for example, Kafka or uh, HTTP API or uh, local files. And Fentry's uh, input plugin uh, passes the uh, logs and into the, uh, convert into the, uh, this uh, event structure. So uh, after, after plugins, uh, filter or out of the plugins, can, uh, it can assume that this event structure, so not raw storing. The filter plugin, uh, this is a very simple, so because uh, this is a whole the filter or mutated logs. So for example, if we want to add the uh, host name to the event records, you can use the record transformer and offer if you want to uh, check the condition to the ignore the unnecessary logs, for example, lo uh, log level or something. So you can use the grep filter to uh, for it. And of course, uh, filter is a uh, could be changed. So you can, uh, 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 you can apply the multiple filters to your data streams. So adding a uh, record transformer and grep filter to the only, uh, to same data streams.
Next is the buffer. So buffer plugin is uh, not standalone plugin. This is used uh, inside the output plugin. So in, uh, input plugin emits the data, and the emitted data are stored into the buffers uh, before right to the destination. This is because it improves the throughput or uh, improves the reliability for the retrain. The buffer plugin, so this is the buffer plugin, is a core of the robust buffering and retrying for the data flash. And the uh, Frederick Core provides the two buffer types. And if you use a file buffer, uh, incoming data are stored on the persistent disk. And this is, uh, avoids the uh, loss of the data when, uh, even when the Frederick crashes. So we recommend to use the file buffer on the production. Memory buffer is for mainly, uh, mainly for the uh, metrics, metrics or some, uh, some non-important data. And internally, so this is a, uh, continue to the buffer plugins. So internally, when this buffer is a queue of chunks. So this is a, this is a three, uh, three chunks. So buffer has a sum of chunks in the buffer plugin, and the chunk has a lots of record, for example, 10,000 or a million or something. And we can configure the this size, so chunk size or a, a flash interval. So these parameters, so flash interval or uh, max size of the chunk is affect the uh, latency of the throughput. So if you want to the uh, low latency for the data transfer, you need to uh, set the smaller flash interval in the output plugins. And if you want to the, if you want to the throughput, like the uh, uh, S3 plugin or a file plugin, you, can, uh, you need to uh, set the large, uh, large flash interval or a larger uh, chunk of chunk size. This is very important for the friendly performance. The adopt plugin. So important uh, point, uh, important uh, buffering or retry is uh, done by the buffer plugin. So adopt plugin is uh, very simple. So just write the buffer chunks to the output destination. So S3 plugin, uh, S3 or Elasticsearch or something. So this is uh, next is uh, uh, how to retry. The friendly, uh, I said the friendly uses a streaming model. So this streaming model is a uh, mer merit for the uh, retry and uh, retry and rescue. So friendly is a uh, uh, split the data streams into the many chunks, uh, many small chunks. So this means uh, friendly uh, retry is cheaper because uh, no need to wait the uh, large data. So under the, this small chunks, is it uh, can easy to uh, process the concurrently? So we can write the multiple chunks at the same time. So it also uh, improves the latency because uh, hiding the uh, at the uh, writing the data at the same time. So no need to wait the uh, previous chunks to flash the uh, flash complete. This is why Friendly uses a streaming model and the Friendly splits the data into the small chunks. The Friendly has a lot of plugins. So this is a by community, community plugin. So Kafka plugin or other API services or more. And the output plugin is also has a mod, uh, lots of plugins uh, because uh, there are lots of web services or databases in the world. So uh, NAT or S3 or uh, InfluxDB or more else. Okay, I said uh, I just talked about the uh, architecture. So next is a use cases with a uh, configuration example. Uh, this is a very simple. Uh, this is very simple uh, use cases. So, friendly uh, collect the data from the uh, local files and uh, receive the data from the application. Uh, friendly uh, send the uh, send the incoming data to the uh, output destination. Uh, this example is a MongoDB. Uh, this is a confused example. So this is, uh, I'm sure this is uh, familiar with you or not. So this is uh, very uh, similar to the Apache-like Apache -like format. And in this configuration, uh, source, 
directive uh, for the input plugin and the match directive is for the output plugins. And match, match directive has a tag pattern in the uh, argument. So we can use this, for the, uh, this pattern for the uh, event routing with tag. I said the flat with event structure has a, a tag for the event routing. So um, this configuration uses a, a prefix tag, uh, captures the, uh, this, uh, in this event routing, and it's sent to the MongoDB. And tail of it probably set the tag for the event. So this is app.apatch. So this app.apatch tag is uh, routed to the MongoDB output. And the friendly uh, also supports the uh, multiple destinations to the, uh, write the data. And this is a very simple, pro uh, simple configuration. So friendly has a copy plugin in the built-in pl uh, built plugins. So with copy plugin, uh, we can uh, send data to the multiple destinations in the uh, same data, uh, with the same data. So in this configuration, data is uh, Elasticsearch and the web uh, HDFS. Uh, uh, via web HDFS plugins. So you can use the hot data for the Elastic search, and uh, you can use the uh, Hadoop or something for the uh, archived data. And if you want to add the more uh, storage, like the Kafka or more, uh, you can uh, use it to just add the uh, store directive uh, into the copy of the plugins. So this is very easy for adding the new destination. The friendly also has a complex uh, data forwarding. So this is a multi for a multi tier forwarding. So friendly has a original forwarding protocol with uh, two, uh, delivery, two delivery semantics, so at most once or at least once. And friendly has a HA or a load balancing for the multiple uh, friendly aggregators. So you can use the, uh, you can uh, process the more traffic with the, this multi tier model. And I want to uh, talk about uh, this model, but this has uh, pros and cons, and we need, uh, and there are several lots of discussion points. So this is hard to uh, talk about in this session. So if you, uh, want, if you are interested in the, this model, uh, please check the, my slide uh, to the before previous, previous Kubecon. This is, a large, this is for large deployment, so many, uh, lots of large companies use the, this uh, multi tier model for the uh, thousand forwarders and the 10 or 100 aggregators. Okay. The next uh, use case is the container and Kubernetes. So, because this is a uh, Kubecon, so I talk about this case. Uh, Friendly is uh, now widely used in the, uh, production with the containers. Uh, so, for example, by data lock researches, uh, Friendly is a host product on the, uh, running on the Docker. So, Friendly is very uh, uh, running on the many companies and the <coughs> many data systems. And I will talk about the how to collect uh, data from the Docker containers or Kubernetes, cont uh, Kubernetes environment. Before, uh, uh, before how to collect data, uh, I, will, I will show the uh, resources for the how to use the friendly on the, your containers or uh, Kubernetes environments. In Docker containers, a uh, friendly project provides a friendly Docker images for the uh, uh, friendly uh, your container environments. So on the friendly project provides the Alpine and Debian images for the Alpine for the small containers and Debian is for uh, production environments. We recommend to use the uh, Debian images for production uh, because these uh, Debian images uh, works with the systemd and the uh, jmalloc. Uh, on the high traffic environment, sometimes memory consumption is a problem, and we use the jmalloc to mitigate the, this memory problem. So I really recommend to use the Debian images. I want to share how uh, RP images uh, doesn't work with the jmalloc smoothly, so currently jmalloc is uh, off on the RP images. And um, the Docker image is now uh, Docker official uh, images. So 
this image run on the uh, Intel or AMD or ARM or PowerPC or more, so you can run friendly on the lots of, uh, lots of environments. The Kubernetes uh, friendly project also provides the uh, demo set images for the uh, users. So this is only uh, Debian images because I said that so RP images have a similar problem for the memory consumption. So Kubernetes environment is only, uh, only Debian images. And this image has a similar uh, built in destination, so you can use the popular uh, data, data services uh, with uh, these images. So Elasticsearch or Kafka and Greylog, uh, CloudWatch logs, Stackdriver, or more. But this, is, uh, this uh, image is not uh, the uh, Docker official images, so this image uh, runs on only the x86 environment. And Helm Charts is also provides the uh, stable images for the friendly, so you can also use the uh, friendly uh, with the Helm packages. Okay, I, I talk about the how to collect the data from the uh, deck containers. The first, this is a Docker specific uh, approach. Uh, Docker has a logging driver mechanism to send uh, application data to the external systems. So for example, so JSON uh, local file or uh, uh, syslog or uh, more. And uh, Docker supports the uh, friendly logging driver is by default. So you can use the, this friendly logging driver for you, uh, collecting the, your application logs. And this is an uh, option of the uh, logging driver. So log driver uh, specifies a friendly, and uh, log, uh, log opt, you can specify the friendly address. Yeah, uh, address for the uh, correct, uh, friendly instances. And if you uh, put the input hard plugin in the friendly configuration, uh, you can receive the data from the, this uh, Docker instances. So this is very easy because you don't need to write the additional code in your application. But uh, I said, so this is a Docker specific approach. So this is, we, we, can, we can't use this approach on the Kubernetes or other containers. And second approach is uh, using the friendly loggers. So friendly logger is a client library for the friendly. So this approach is mainly for collecting the data metrics or application-specific data. So with this approach, so you can see that this code, so you need to uh, add the uh, logging code in your application, but you can collect the, any data of the applications. So this is the merit of this approach. And Docker uh, friendly uh, logger is implemented in the many languages, so Ruby, Python, Java, or C, or Rust, or Go, or more. So I assume that your application uh, is easy to use the existing logger for collecting data with this approach. The friendly side is the same as the friendly uh, Docker logging driver, because this is a friendly, log friendly uh, Logger is used in the Docker logging, uh, Docker logging driver, so this is the same protocol. So you can use the same configuration for the logging driver and this friend logger approaches. Next is a uh, shared data volume approach. Uh, this is uh, mainly for the middleware images, so sometimes we can't modify the logging mechanism on the uh, existing Docker images. For example, if you are, if you are middleware generate logs to the local files, uh, we can't access to the, uh, this local files uh, outside of the container. So for that cases, so we can use the shared data volume, and we can use the Intel plugin to collect data from the so shared volumes, uh, local files. And this is uh, this way, so mounting the uh, MMT holder and friendly access to the its log. Um, this is a very uh, rare approach, uh, but the, uh, in, on Kubernetes, yeah, we use a similar approach because uh, 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 Kubernetes doesn't provide the, uh, any API for the correct uh, access uh, logs from the application container, and on Kubernetes. 
Kubernetes uh, generates the logs into the bar log containers directory. So in this case, Friendly uses the Intel plugin in the uh, wildcard pattern. Uh, with this configuration, Friendly automatically expands the uh, directories, directories files and the read, uh, read the, uh, find, found the log files and immediately and send data to the destinations. So I said the friendly uh, Kubernetes demo set uh, uses uh, this uh, same configuration to collect the data from the your uh, Kubernetes containers. And Kubernetes demo sets, this is our provided demo set images. It also, also includes the uh, metadata filter for the Kubernetes environments. So this filter adds the uh, Kubernetes metadata to the uh, data streams. So for, this is an example for the so namespace or container name or pod name or more. Uh, this filter adds these metadata to the uh, past data, this uh, upper log, uh, hello log, this example. So we can, uh, we can use the, these metadata for your uh, data processing side, so grouping the data or uh, <coughs> error checker or something. So this is a summary of the container, uh, container logging approach. So if you're using the doc, uh, Banya Docker instances, uh, you can use the logging driver mechanism with a friendly driver. This is very easy. And if you, if you can't use these uh, driver approach, or if you want to collect the complex data or the metrics, you can use the friendly logger uh, approaches with the additional code. If you use the middleware, uh, you can't modify the uh, logging mechanism, uh, you can use the shared data volumes. And on Kubernetes, you can use a similar approach, so collect container logs from the bar log containers with the Intel plugins. And of course, you can use the uh, uh, Kubernetes metadata filter to add the Kubernetes APIs based metadata to the logs. So this is uh, enrich the your data with the Kubernetes metadata. So this is the last chapter of the front, uh, last chapter of this session and the front bit. So front bit is an important ecosystem of the front D uh, project. This is a simple comparison of the front D and the front bit. So I said the front D is written in Ruby and C. So C, uh, C part is for the serialization on the network handling. But the, so sometimes Ruby is slow. But front bit is fully, fully implemented in the C, so this is a front bit is a very fast and the lower footprint. So and in addition, front bit is also has a pluggable mechanism, so you can add the your destination or input plugin uh, the sources into the front bit with the plugin API. So currently, front is targeted for the forward and aggregator. But front bit is uh, focuses on the forwarder and edge use cases. So maybe this point is uh, talked about Edward is tomorrow. So currently, so with container logging with the front D and front bit, so front bit is uh, you, we, you can use the front bit on the forwarder side to reduce the memory usage or the CPU usage. And Friendly uh, Friendbit also has a, a forward protocol, so Friendbit can forward data to the uh, Friendly. So you can use the uh, Friendly on the aggregation side to flexible or robust, robust buffering and the data forwarding. And you can use the Friendbit on the forward side to the minimum, uh, with minimum resources. So this is a very popular approach in the uh, current, uh, currently, this popular approach on the container logging with a Friendly project. Hey, this this next bit is uh, so Edward. Uh, it's tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow deep session uh, talks about the deeply. So please join tomorrow session. Hey, enjoy logging. Thanks. <laughs> Any question? Hey. Thank you. Thank you. 
In terms of collector, um, what do you think are the benefits of fluent bit versus uh, file bit from the file bit? case? Yeah. You mean the elastic? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure the, uh, the details comparison, but I hear the one user so switch from the file bit to the uh, fluent bit. Because the file bit sometimes uh, CPUs uh, consume lots of CPUs and lots of memory than the fluent bit. So fluent bit is written in C and the file bit is written in Go. So sometimes, sometimes Go hard to manage the memory management in Go because the Go is GC based uh, language. So on high performance environment, Sometimes fluent, fluent bit is fit on the uh, lower, with lower, memory, lower CPU and memory resources, I think. Hi. Uh, first, thank you very much for the talk. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as I understood, uh, you have uh, some like uh, input plugins, okay? One of them, as far as I remember, was the HTTP. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? So, so my question is, uh, is there any uh, output plugin uh, for HTTP? Ah, so or you... if it's not, uh, is any plan to, to, to have it? So you want, to, uh, you want, uh, you want the uh, output, output HTTP plugin uh, in the core? So, as of currently, so it doesn't have the output HTTP. So, so, currently, we have a plan to add the output HTTP plugin in the core. Uh, but we are now considering the uh, replacement of the networking stack with the, uh, new, uh, new library. So, after that, we can support the HTTP2 or uh, efficient uh, HTTP access. So, after that, we have plan to add the output HTTP plugin in the core. Any question? Okay. Okay. Thanks.